Hello everyone, Storm101 here. Today I'll be tracking for the possibility for a winter storm in main effect across parts of Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and Michigan during the midweek next week. So that should be interesting as well. Not a whole lot of things to talk about. At least that's what it's been for the past several days other than some of the flooding problems down across parts of Louisiana, Mississippi, and also that winter storm that's been going on for parts of New England states, and I believe Colorado uh, Mounts has been experiencing quite a bit of snow as well. But let's first talk about something that's really interesting that's going on right now. So, this is a uh, Super Typhoon Surgy, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. But this is a Category 5 hurricane, and it has made, made some history today. So this is the strongest tropical system ever in April. It's also the has the lowest pressure in April as well, with a stagger rate 888 millibars. So that's pretty impressive there, with 180 mile an hour winds, and it is very close to the Philippines. As you can see here, the Philippines are right here. But the good news is. This is supposed to stay away from the Philippines, but they can still see some impacts from this storm system, or this super typhoon, I should say. So definitely some very interesting stuff that's going on uh, by the Philippines right now. That's just something I want to show you guys here. Uh, definitely some really interesting stuff going on out there. So really, the weather's quiet today. Uh, you can see here, it's the below average below average temperatures for both the United States will continue at least through most of next week. You also got this system out here that's been a cutoff flow just to the east of Boston. That's bringing in multiple rounds of heavy snow across parts of Vermont, New Hampshire, and Massachusetts as well, where some of those mountains did pick up a little over a foot of snow in some places. The highest snowfall report I've heard was 13 inches from this event here. So definitely quite a bit of snow has fallen up there as well. So a little winter storm has been going on up there. Plus we've been getting multiple rounds of snow across the mountains of New, New Mexico and also for Colorado as well. Then you're going to see this wave of energy up here that's going to be moving into the central and parts of the eastern United States. This front that be up here will become a little bit stationary for just a moment here you're going to see a low develop somewhere in the lower Hall Valley and rapidly deepen as it moves to the northeast. And I'm going to show you guys whenever I play with this. So you kind of get a low pressure system up here, bringing in a good amount of snow across parts of Idaho, Wyoming, South Dakota, Montana, even into parts of Nebraska, even some snow mixing into parts of Iowa, Wisconsin, and Michigan as well. And then you can see here, check out all that snow here, especially across back in Missouri, Oklahoma, and Kansas. Not too long ago, these areas were experiencing well above average temperatures, and look where we are now. Talk about heavy snow potential. Kind of insane there. And this is now getting into Tuesday, April 20th. So this doesn't happen quite often. It has happened before, but it just doesn't happen that often. You can see here, over the Ohio River here, got 1,008 millibar low, got these about snow going on at the backside of this low here. And you're going to see that move into the move into Ohio. Check out that big swath of snow across parts of Ohio there as well. Even it's got some snow as far south as Central Tennessee. How about that? Or something like that. And then it's eventually going to move to the northeast. Possibly some severe weather across parts of the Mid-Atlantic here. We'll pay attention to that closely here since we do have a strong low and it looks like we may have a little bit of a negative tilt trough with that as well. Probably damage to winds will probably be your primary threat with that setup here. And keep in mind, every time there's a severe weather threat in the Mid-Atlantic Northeast, it's always verifies or overperforms. I'm not joking either. Apparently it happens with that every about every single time. Let's be honest with that. So, just expect for the possibility for some severe weather across parts of the Mid Atlantic and even into parts of New Jersey and Pennsylvania as well. They have the possibility for some severe weather. 
Eventually, some of those folks will probably experience some snowflakes behind it as well. Talk about a pretty strong trough here for this time of year here. Even for some lake effects snow coming off from the Great Lakes, uh, you got one going on here out of Lake Michigan. You got this large swath coming out of Lake Erie as well. So pretty impressive system kind of going by Tuesday into Wednesday. And then, then we start to warm up here. Here's your high pressure system here. Then everybody should start to warm up across for mostly about everybody here. So that's the good news there. And hopefully it kind of stays that way, which the GFS does predict uh, that cold air may try to come back in here. Which has happened in the winter time, but some of us did had a pretty good winter anyways. And then watch towards the end of the month. Some of them may happen towards the end of the month as well. We kind of go back to the spring type of pattern. So let me get to about, about there. So how much snow could fall out of the system here? Well, here we go. You can see here about the GFS for till Friday of next week. And you can see our sub places predicting some places may be able to see six, seven uh, inches of snow across parts of Northern Illinois, Northwestern Ohio, and Southeastern Michigan. Even for the chance for some accumulating snows back across a good chunk of Missouri, most of Kansas, southern Nebraska. Now keep in mind, these snowfall, mount, uh, snowfall mounts are going to be overdone. Just give it the fact that your temperatures on the ground are going to be very warm. Uh, for snow, but depending on your snowfall rates, you can actually start to see some accumulating snow. So just to keep in mind of that. Then you also got quite a bit of snow going on across the Rockies as well, at least the eastern part of the Rockies. So we'll could see a decent amount of snow as well. We'll check out the European model, and you can see here it's actually a little bit more aggressive here, showing a good swath of seven, eight, nine inches of snow. Across southeastern Michigan, northern Indiana as well. Even again to some areas into Illinois. Even got a pretty decent swath of three, four, five inches of snow really from northeastern Kansas, northern Missouri, southeastern Iowa, and even into northern Illinois as well. But keep in mind, these totals are not going to be that accurate. It's just really going to depend on your snowfall rates. If your snowfall rates are going to be pretty light, you won't see nothing on the ground here. I mean, the ground temperatures are going to be very warm. But if you're going to have decent snowfall rates, like these areas where the European Mall is showing 8, 9 inches of snow, you guys have the chance to see at least a couple inches of snow and maybe several inches of snow in some places. And this may cause some travel issues as well for some of these places as well. So this is definitely something got to watch here very closely here. Kidney model is basically on board as well. With uh, it's a little bit more aggressive. It's actually got some places showing nine, maybe getting close to ten inches of snow across parts of northern Indiana, southeastern Michigan, northwestern Ohio, into portions of Illinois as well. And it's even got a good swath of six inches of snow, really from. North Central Illinois for Northern Missouri and to Southeastern Kansas as well, even to parts of Northern Oklahoma. So that's going to be pretty interesting here. But again, don't take these snowfall totals uh, seriously here. Probably not some of these snowfall totals by maybe at least a couple inches of snow. And actually, maybe what you could possibly get out of these here. Which in that case, some places may be able to see five six inches of snow it's a possibility we'll just put it that way namal pretty far to the northwest is also pretty aggressive here this is the most aggressive model here it's even got some places 14.5 inches is that going to happen no it's got chicago 11 inches southeastern iowa a little over nine inches i don't think this is going to happen here plus it's pretty far northwest than what the other malls are showing uh, we had a couple malls having a northwest bias to this, so again, it's going to be something to watch. 
for now, but we'll just say that the chance for a winter storm will be across southeastern uh, Michigan, maybe again to East Central Illinois, northern Indiana, and northwestern Ohio. These would be the regions here to watch here for the possibility for a winter storm. Maybe not that far south. Maybe cut it like that. But these areas right in here will be the areas to watch here for the possibility for a winter storm, which I actually made a map already. And you can see here southeastern Michigan, northwestern Ohio, the northern half of Indiana, and east central Illinois. We're going to see if, if I plan on to make another area, maybe a very slim area across parts of these regions, but we'll see what models do trend towards over the next couple of days here. I know it's a short video, but it's just not a whole lot of stuff that's been going on. Plus, I've been taking, you know, a big break from YouTube videos, as you guys probably have seen here. But also, it's been pretty quiet in the weather as well, so I think it'd be a good time to take a break. But there's, I'll probably make another update if there's going to be any major changes to this forecast, but we'll see about that. But anyways, guys, that's all for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. If you already do like my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you never miss an upload. If you've got questions about this, you put a comment section down below. I'll answer you guys' questions, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.